There were times in our lives we laughed for this. The most beautiful thing you'll ever see on TV. Shitsonga Ishibiri. Shitsonga in all its glory. She does a lot of annoying things on set. Uh, Bali, so tell us, the wedding, what's your view about the wedding? It is amazing. Explosion of color, especially when it comes to the Tsonga people. They're very famous for color. Beautiful. It, it looks like you're going to see something there as well. <laughs> I don't know. So the dancing is lit. <laughs> It's, 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 it's nice when you see something move from paper. Good imagination, you And then someone, I think that if I end up something, I don't expect it, but it still turns out very beautiful. You're like, oh, wow. This was a very long two days. So it's early morning. It was very cold. I'm preparing for my scenes because I had a lot of scenes. And yeah, it was hectic. And funny enough, my wife, she was like 40 weeks pregnant at this time. So it was... My daughter could be born at any time, so it, I was anxious at the same time, but I had to shoot because it was a very pivotal point of our story, this uh, wedding. So we were all anxious, cast was anxious, uh, production was anxious, thinking, oh my God, if that girl was to come, because they knew, because I had mentioned, if she comes, I'm gone. And we'd spend a lot of money on this uh, venue and production. So we, we thank God my daughter came after we had shot the, 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 the wedding. But all in all, all, this was the time where I was preparing for my day. Now there's Mama Rosh and her team preparing for the costume. You can see the costume here, the background there. So they had to make sure that everything is spot on, everything is on the mark, because we, we can't miss it out. We can't, we can't find ourselves in, in a position where we are lacking. And I'm sure here, yeah, I was asking about Joni and this gentleman, uh, something about my lines that I was not sure about because we, we, you, you need to be spot on. There's a lot of beautiful vocab, Mafana, the writers have, 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 have put together. And Kanzan and I here are busy doing our dialogue, running our lines basically. So every time before we go on set, we run our dialogue to make sure that it flows, to make sure that it's believable, to make sure that all the, the new vocabulary that we are given, it makes sense. You know, and then so, so you, you, you believe it. There's a lot of beautiful words that are given that we find Kuri. Me, for example, my, my vocab is not that great. So I appreciate that you get writers who are doing that for us. And here's the makeup department. They're putting Mami Yvonne. There she is. There's Hope looking at us. They make sure that Mami Yvonne, she's in order. Her makeup is proper. But all in all, it was a morning of greatness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are some of the fun moments we have uh, behind the scenes while we are preparing for the day because we need to release the, the, the tension a bit because we know that the day will be hectic, so it's always advisable to relax a bit before we start. These bridesmaids, did you really do that to me without base? Now, this is now it's me gossiping. Mama too will kill me, our HOD of makeup. She hates it. When anyone shoots their pictures or video without putting a makeup on, she does not like it. Now here's Dan, our, H, our AD, preparing with Kukwani. She just left. They are making sure that all the scenes are in order. He's all being crazy. There's a thing about our industry, the show must go on. Whether you are in a deathbed or not, the show must go on. But that does not apply with me. Look, I'm not a farmer, you know. So it's all lovely. She's also part of production. It's all lovely, so everything is fun. Kazan and I are going on with our dialogue. We're not trying to adjust the dialogue so it flows with us. Oh. And with him, he was very... So I was like, ah. Because I could tell no. Even the wife could tell. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel today? You're getting married? Who am I getting married to? Who's the groom? I don't know. She doesn't know. I don't Hey! And then you invited Bukosi. Yeah, my parents invited him. My parents invited me. Yay! No. No push push. No push push. And Musa is here as well. No, wow. this is not it. Oh, Namja. It's not a balloon. 
Well, you can see the hustle and bustle of the day. We got here like five o'clock in the morning and breakfast was six o'clock. We were supposed to shoot for the whole day until it's six o'clock in the evening. So it's a whole day's work. It's very hectic. I mean, you can see even the costume, they're running up and down. Look at the beautiful costume. Make sure that things are in order because they can't miss a beat. You can't miss a beat in such a, such, such a scenario. But now from this, there we are. We're trying to run our dialogue, figure out and consult with each other what is what, what's working, what's not working. Don't be fooled with the sunlight. It was cold on this day. <sighs> Butterfly in. Who has an iPhone here? Do you have an iPhone? No, she would have answered. Do you have an iPhone? Who has an iPhone? So, can I help you with your interpreter? Are we in trouble? Yes. I'm Kanye. I'm the producer of Kiani Land of Blood. I literally oversee all the processes of production, from pre-production to the production until post-production, right until it goes on air. So pre-production is when I do the casting. I help the casting director together with the executive producers. We cast for the show, we do casting calls, we do audition tapes, we look at callbacks. Uh, we, I, I hire all the other crew, the HODs. Sorry. Suppliers, it's so a the, lot. So this got pre-production. It's the setup of the production and before the shoot happens. It's issuing scripts. Sorry, let me just do this. And that's also part of my job. I answer calls <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> pre basically is preparation. It's preparation. So you without prep, you are bound to fail. So production is the actual shooting phase where we now actually were in studio, whether we are on location, everybody has had their scripts, we've had rehearsals, we've had workshops, we've had wardrobe fittings, set dressing, props have been bought, cars have been secured, contracts have been issued, signed, all of the works. So all that happens in pre-production? And, and leading into production. It's editing, final mix, sound design. So before it goes on TV, it must yes. go into post? Lots of commitment, lots of energy, lots of time because we have to research everything, particularly with this one. We needed to make sure that we, we, we researched the, the culture, um, the Tsonga wedding, the Tsonga culture. So we went into a great detail applying research on all of that. Um, but also because it's a telenovela, we needed to spice it up a bit. So we added drama as, we should, as one should in a telenovela. Uh, but there's a lot. We had to recce the places, we had to look for the right place for the wedding that would work for all departments. I have clips trucks, lighting trucks, the place needed to, logistically, I needed to be able to park over 50 cars, you know, so it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Recce of location is just literally just going to look out for a place where we would be happy to shoot in. So it's called the recce in the TV industry. But it's just it's the same as location scouting. It's looking at a building, venue, yeah, venue is more is more it may, would make more sense to people. Mm -hmm. So it's looking for venues. It came out. It was very successful because we had pre-production before, so everybody knew what was needed, what was required. We all had read the scripts, so it was very smooth. As big as it was, everybody knew what was expected of them from the actors, from wardrobe, art department, from the stunt people, the works all round. So it was really smooth. I'm sure our boss Kanye, she was calling the director and AD to say, guys, we need to run a tight ship. I've spent a lot of money, so I can't spend more money. So no dropping of scenes. Let's make sure that we finish this day today. Huh? No, I want to record this scene while it's, while it's playing. So why do you have to record with an iPhone? Hawaii can't record. Huh? Hawaii can't record. What's Hawaii? Which one? Hawaii can no, no, repeated. Okay. No, my issue is it needs to match with with one of the edges. All right. Wow. Hello, my name is Zolani the Greatest. Yes, that's the man himself, Zolani Pagadi, our director. I'm sure you've heard of him. 
this was the first scene we shot on that particular day because he was not happy with a lot of things. So he had to make sure that his PA feels it and his uncle was not participating. So he had to make them feel it. And now the wrath of Bukosi. I should buy Bukosi. But guys, isn't it fun to be backstage to see all those things to learn what we do when we're doing this? What we do, okay. All right. yes, all the money, all right. Hey, during edit, was the money from okay. Okay, let's go. When Rambe Hima, me. And Rambe, you Rambe Lloyd. Yes, sir. Rambe Lloyd. Hello, hey. This is how you come to win. This is how you come to win. Who invented this one? Who invented this one? And Rambe, you need to win. Who invented this one? How are you? I'm good at you. So, after that scene we shot, uh, when I was telling Marty about Scrap and my uncle, we ran quickly to come and change the costume. That was the first. This is the first costume of the wedding before the other one. So, these ladies had to help me. Thank you, were there on my right. Hi, my name is Rochelle Selling. I'm the AJD of wardrobe for Guiani Land of Blood. Well, you have to have a system in place. So everybody has their own way of, or, or their right uh, duties to do for the day um, so that it, it actually goes out smooth. Okay, what, what we do, we go through a call sheet and we um, lay out the wardrobe according to the call sheet. Once the call sheet is um, out, we label and, and tag them and obviously put them according to the scene numbers of, of the way we're shooting. So that in the morning when you get to work, it's the first scenes that you do shoot with. You put the wardrobe in the dressing rooms and everybody has their stuff on time. If you don't do it the night before, it does become a problem the next morning because you have to reshuffle everything. Okay, for that costume was really really big it um, it had 90 meters of tulle which is huge so we had to I had to put, assign one of my my assistants just to be with the actress for the whole day so that she'd be able to lay it out and make sure that it's in in um, it doesn't get ripped or torn because obviously we were not shooting in one space <laughs> These are my beautiful people that I've worked with and they really, really do a great job. <laughs> they all understand the job that you're doing and they enjoy every minute of it. And Tina made sure that she's she, she, around she, 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 she. <laughs> uh, Tina in front of me, and at the back, I'm sure. So they were helping me put on the stuff because it, it, it was a lot of them. I, I, if I had put them on my own, I was, I was gonna waste time. So it might look like it's fun for them to help me. It's not because, hey Tina, just because of fun, but because they had to help me 
put on all this because it will be wasting time. We're working on time. Tepo uh, Matlanyani, first AD, slash, hashtag, director at some time. It's a pre -port. We have a meeting. We discuss all the departments, time, how long they need, wardrobe, makeup, setting up, and we integrate that into a full day. And how best to achieve certain shots in terms of your crane shots, your drone shots, how do we put that into together? That's where I do my thing. So basically, guys are mostly concerned about time on set. 99%, uh, yeah. It's like now, for instance, if we have, now we're on location, we have 10 scenes, we chase chasing sun. So everything is time. Because you have to know this scene is based on this night scene or a sunset, sunrise, midday. So everything has to be allocated according to script time and overall can we achieve that if it's 10 scenes can we achieve 10 scenes on a 10 hour day yes or no if we can then we have to reduce scenes so on the wedding day uh do you guys were able to, to capture what you wanted to capture and on time yeah we did we it was one of the amazing shoes that we have those two days because we, we are supposed to shoot that for three days but because of other logistical things matters we couldn't do three days we had to do two so we squashed everything into two where, yeah, where you go to the dressing room, you have a bruise as well. So we need to get you to make up. I'm, I'm, I, my bruise is fine. Oh, okay. Unless if you want to. Now, Dan's job as a second AD is to make it that we know as actors where we're supposed to be going, what we're reading for, and what's the scene. The ladies are preparing the costume properly to make sure that we're firing in all cylinders. From there, I went and joined the other actors because we are preparing for the next scene that we're supposed to shoot. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>